Hello friends this is Web's lesson video tutorial and in this tutorial we add one more feature in chat application using PHP and Ajax. Currently our chat application basic functionality is ready, but this is static system, new user cannot add into the system. For in this tutorial we have chat application registration system, so new user can register into system and take part into chat and group chat. Now let's start discussing this topic, this is our chat database and in this we have one table login, user login details has been stored into this folder, so new user details will be stored under this table. This is our chat application working folder. For register new user we have make one register.php page for registered into system. First we have to make register form. So here we have write form tag with method is equal to post. For enter username details we have write input type is equal to text, name is equal to username, under this field new user can enter his login details. Same way for enter password details, here we have write input type is equal to password, name is equal to password, user can enter his password details under this field for validate password so we want to re-enter password again so here we have write input type is equal to password name is equal to confirm password now for submit registration details we have write input type is equal to submit name and value is equal to register by click on this button user can submit their details below this we want to link login page so here we have write anchor tag with ref is equal to login.php by click on this link page will be redirect to login page same way on login page we want to put link for registration form so here we have write anchor tag with ref is equal to register.php by click on this link page will redirect to registration form now we have go to register.php page and start write php code so first we have write include statement with database connection dot php it will make database connection on this page after this we have write session start function it will start session on this page below this we have write dollar message variable is equal to blank value in this variable we will store validation error message. Now we want to restrict to access this page to login user. So here we have write if statement and under condition we have write is set function with dollar session user ID variable. This condition will check if this variable value is set that means user has login into system then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write header method and under this we have write location set to index.php. It will redirect page to index.php. Now we have moved to validate form data for registration. So here we have write if statement and under condition we have write is set function with dollar post register variable. This condition will check if this dollar post register variable value is set then it will execute if block of code. Under this block first we want store form data under local variable, 
so here we have write dollar username variable is equal to trim function and under this we have write dollar post username variable this function will remove white spaces from dollar post username variable value and store under dollar username variable after this we have write dollar password variable is equal to trim function and under this function we have write dollar post password variable after this we need to check particular username already registered or not for this we have write dollar check query variable is equal to select star from login where username is equal to double colon username this condition will check particular username data available or not in database. Below this we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement, and under this we have write dollar check query variable, it will make query for execution. Now we have write dollar check data variable is equal to array with key double colon username with value get from dollar username variable. After this we want to execute select query. So we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar statement variable with execute method and under this we have write dollar check data variable. If query successfully run then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have again write if statement and under condition we have write dollar statement variable with row count method value greater than zero this row count method return number of row affected by query execution and if it is greater than zero then it will execute if block of code under this block we have write dollar message variable is equal to string message like username already taken but suppose above condition false that means particular username not available in database then it will execute else block of code under this block we have write if statement and under condition we have write empty function with dollar username variable. This empty function check dollar username variable has some value or not, it has no value then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar message variable is equal to username is required. Below this we have again write if statement and under condition we have write empty function, and under this function we have write dollar password variable. If dollar password variable has no value then it will execute if block of code, and under this block we have write dollar message variable is equal to password is required. But suppose dollar password variable has some value then it will execute else block of code, and under this block we need to check value of password is match with confirm password. For this here we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar password variable value is not equal to dollar post confirm password variable. If this condition true then it will execute if block of code, and under this block we have write dollar message variable is equal to password not match message. Now we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar message variable value is equal to blank, if this variable value is blank that means no any validation error has been generated and form data is proper.
if this condition true then it will execute if block of code, and under this block we have write dollar data variable is equal to array with key double colon username value get from dollar username variable. In second key we have write double colon password value get from password hash function with two argument like dollar password variable and password default. This function will convert simple password into hash string format. Now we have write dollar query variable is equal to insert into login table with column like username and password, and values get from double colon username and password. We have below this insert data query we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect with prepare statement, and under this we have write dollar query variable, it will make query for execution. For execute query we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, and under this we have write dollar data variable. If query successfully run then it will execute if block of code, and under this block we have write dollar message variable is equal to registration completed string message. So here our chat application registration form code is ready, now we can check output in browser. Friends first we have going to chat application login page, here we can see register form link, so we have click on this link. After click on this link we have redirect to registration form, and here we can see registration form with three details like username, password, and confirm password, and below we can see login form link also. Now first we have check validation working or not, so we have directly click on register button, so we can see message like username and password is required. Now we want to check with registered username we can again register into system, so in username field we have write John Smith as username, and click on register button. After click on register button we have received username already taken validation message on web page, so here are this validation working properly. And now we want to check password and confirm password match validation working or not, so in username we have enter Jacob Martin, in password field we have enter password, and in re-enter password field we have enter password 123. And click on register button, after click on register button we have received validation error message like password not match on web page, so this validation working properly. Now we have enter proper user details like, in username field we have enter Jacob Martin, in password field we have enter password, and in re-enter password field we have enter password. After this we have click on register button, after click on register button we have received registration completed message on web page, now we have go to login table. Here we have can see Jacob Martin user details we can see here and in password field we can see password has been stored in hash string format. Now we have login page and in username we have enter Jacob Martin and in password field we have enter password and click on login button. After click on login button we can see Jacob Martin has been enter into chat application, 
and here we can see user details who has register under the system, and he can chat with other member, and group chat also. So, this way new user can register under this chat application by using this register form, make account under this chat application, and make this dynamic chat application. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, Please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.